Mitzi Goose here, and we realized that one of our last videos we did not show you a whole lot about the font mapper and how to change the font names. So we'll show you that now. So you want to click on this uh, icon over here. That will bring up this screen here. Now, would you like to begin importing a font? No. We've actually already brought in our font uh, by double-clicking the BX file. And so it's already in here. That dialog asking you whether you want to import a font is good if you want to bring in individual letters that are not available in the BX font. But we've already brought in our BX font, which is called Rainy Street. And we are going to rename it to our standard. So here it is, Rainy Street. Now, I like to change these to uh, 1.0 inch. And the reason why we use IN is just to keep it shorter, because otherwise when the font name gets too long, it's kind of hard to see what it is. And then we're going to put in oh, my crafty supply. So that way we remember where we got it from. And of course, we're going to look here and see whether we want to adjust any of these letters. We actually looked, and for the most part, these letters are pretty good. I will say, though, that uh, based on the design of the letters, you may want to manually adjust them later, but it's not something we can do kind of overall. So now we're just going to save the font, and then we're going to do the same on the next one here. Rainy Street, two inches. So, and by making them all uniform, you'll see that it brings more order to your font list. There we go. Okay. So look at our little font list here. And you'll see that the closer you stay to your naming convention, the nicer your little list will be here. And you'll see here that I've had to change some of these names so that they are shorter. These here are some names that will need to be changed so that they will sort in numeric order from smallest to largest, similar to how we did the uh, delicate flower here. So hope that helps you see why you might want to rename your BX font in, in Brilliance. And you can only do this in the Alpha Trick software. Unfortunately, they don't let you do it in the regular in Brilliance modules. It's only in the Alpha Tricks. But I will say that for me, it was worth trying to rename these things particularly to make them shorter, but also to address issues such as these, where it's just really hard. You have to kind of read which one is inch and a half, inch and a quarter, that sort of thing. And obviously, they were named this way because of file naming standards on Windows, and I'm sure Mac has something similar. But this makes it so much easier for us to read when we're going to use our font. So hope you enjoy our video and don't forget to save your font.